stinks being a fat red-headed white guy. Every Halloween, it was the same costume. Fat Ronald McDonald. All my friends are trick-or-treating around the neighborhood. My parents, they're dropping me off at Mickey D's. <laughs> Trick-or-treat! Here's a pickle. After every Halloween, my friends are going to the dentist office. My parents are taking me in for a cholesterol check. Yeah. I think Halloween, though, is a lot more fun as an adult. Yeah. I mean, think about it. As a kid, you're always broke, right? So no matter what your parents say, you have to take candy from strangers. As an adult, I can afford my own big bag of Baby Ruth's. The fun size. I love that term, fun size for candy bars. Although, really, come on, let's face it. Any size candy bar is a fun size. As an adult, I don't have to worry about my, my candy disappearing because my parents needed to inspect it. Oh, right. Like my parents were the only ones who rifled through their kids' Halloween candy. <laughs> hey, uh, if we're going to buy you a costume, walk around for a couple of hours with you, we're going to get some of that. Yeah, it's the law. It's called candy tax. Welcome to adulthood. And all they ever left me with were popcorn balls, sugarless gum, and wax lips. Wax lips? What flavor were wax lips? They tasted like feet, didn't they? Yeah, wax lips was not even real candy. And you learned that the hard way the first time, didn't you? Oh yeah, you start chewing it up, swallow it, constipated for three weeks. Yeah, you never looked at a block of cheese the same way ever again, did you? Yeah. <laughs> you remember when you used to take the wax lips and you turn around and you start making out with them like they were your girlfriend? <laughs> you, you don't remember? You don't remember that? Okay. In my neighborhood, we had a dentist. Boy, that guy could suck the joy right out of trick or treating. Oh, right, here you go, kitties. Here's your toothpaste, and your toothbrush, and some dental floss. <laughs> and you get a tongue scraper. Every year that guy's house got TP'd. I should know, I was next door passing out the cottonelle. I mean, I don't care if you want to pass out dental equipment, but is it going to kill you to duct tape it to a gobstopper? Well, you're a dentist for crying out loud. Create business. Pass out pixie sticks. It's tooth decay in a straw. It's cavities. In a convenient applicator. Throw in a business card. Boom. It's tax deductible. I remember this one year, this lady at the bottom of our street, she ran out of candy early. She started passing out little sandwich baggies full of potpourri. Tell you one taste of that. I was digging for the toothpaste. Where did I, where did I put those wax lips? Some kids go trick-or-treating at the mall. Yeah. I guess the parents think it's safer there. Right. It must be that impenetrable mall security guy, huh? What, are you kidding me? That guy doesn't have a gun. He doesn't even have real handcuffs. He has to use twisty ties. Yeah. Uh, that's it, pal. Hands behind your back. I'm taking you in. You and your little sister. All right. Hopping in my bicycle basket. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you on Judge Judy. Your bear building days are over. Yeah. Trick or treating at the mall though. I mean, by the time Halloween rolls around, haven't the malls already been decked out for Christmas? <laughs> That's just stupid. Yeah. Trick or treat. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. What a scary Pat Quinn costume. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a candy cane. Now, you come tell Santa what you want for Kwanzaa. 